is day number two on the Disney Fantasy. I have just woken up. This was our first night where we kind of slept the best. I'm not going to say we slept through the night, but we slept the best. We forced ourselves to stay up a little bit after dinner, although the last night, if you guys remember, we had that pre-dinner snack, which I don't think was a great idea because then we didn't really get to enjoy our dinner as much, um, like eat, eat as much of the food. We did enjoy the food, we just didn't get to eat a lot of it. Um, and of course we enjoyed Turtle Talk with Crush because Crush is Crush is Crush and we love Crush. Um, also we have a new kind of special tie to sea turtles. Um, so yes, Thomas has just gotten in the shower. I am currently looking at this beautiful view. I had the door open for a little bit, but me and um, neighbor kids are a little bit loud and excited for their day. Um, today is our first port of call. We're in Cozabel, Mexico, which is super cool. We are doing an excursion, which is called Echo Park, and then we'll be doing a snorkel. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get ready before we head down to dinner or head down to breakfast. And then from breakfast, we have to go straight to D Lounge, right? We're going to D Lounge. Oh, or the two and um, that is where they are going to pick us up and take us out for our adventure today very exciting um, I'm probably not gonna bring this camera because again it's not waterproof so you're probably gonna see a lot on 360 camera this is our first vlog series that we're gonna be using the 360 camera so I hope it's all coming out quite okay Thomas is definitely gonna have to help me and teach me how to edit that um, he gave me that camera for my birthday so I hope all is going well I hope you like these videos so far I'm really sorry I haven't been able to really close out the vlog there's just so much going on each time that sometimes um, you know you don't know which camera to use and which is on what so hopefully this is all making sense and it's not like super choppy but again if you are liking this series don't forget to like and subscribe because not only are we on the Disney Fantasy this week we'll be at Walt Disney World so you have a lot of videos to catch up on and I know our friends at home definitely love when uh, Mr. Thomas takes over the vlog so stay tuned and maybe he'll take over the vlog today but um, yeah so we're gonna go ahead and get ready I'll check in with you guys when we're all done so you can see what we're wearing for the day so we just got out of the room I'm wearing my little set in my swimsuit. Couldn't think of the word. My little pumpkin hat. Tom is dressed and ready to go. He's wearing his new shorts. We're heading down to breakfast and then we have to head to the tube to be picked up for our port adventure. So exciting. All right, we will see you guys after breakfast. All right, Tom has his breakfast. He has an omelet, some toast, sausage, bacon, and hash brown with a brocco. I have my Mickey waffle, croissant sandwich, hash brown, eggs, sausage link, and bacon, and then I also put some Fruit Loops in my backpack for later. on the funnel vision. That's what you can hear in the background. I'm gonna pull my bucket hat down. Cause it is bright out here. Hola, good morning. <laughs> We're coming off the ship. Woohoo, look at her. Look at you. All right, let's go find our group. Oh, right there. Here's our guy. Hello. 
smack that two like over here, my friends. Please smack that two like. Look at that, it's Are you excited? Yeah. I don't know if y'all can see this, but it's so hot, my actual sunglasses have fogged up. Like, it's so hot. Where are we? Probably, no, this is not the hottest weather we've been in because it was hotter actually in Paris. But this is probably the hottest we've seen. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm used to it. Because, because of the week in Paris. Yeah. <laughs> like if we were doing this in the start of the summer, you in the spring, right. this would be be real hot. Welcome to the ecological ecological park. Uh, in, uh, in this place, family, in the national park, uh, I want to give you more information, but I want to let you know they have a few regulation. For example, one of them is is not allowed smoke into the national park. Okay. In second, uh, it's not allowed to use any sunblock on you because for the ones want to do uh, is not getting activity with us. We went swimming in the national. Look, there is one. Yeah. He's gone. Yeah. You see one? Yeah. His name is Julio. Hola, Julio. Hola,
Ayan, ulit. Ayan, ulit. You ready to relax? Wait, yeah. we got a snorkel. We got a snorkel. I don't want to take my shoes off because I'm burning my feet. So I just did a 20 minute massage. It felt incredible. Tom's having his done now. Um, yeah, this has been a really, really cool port adventure. Um, so we did like snorkeling. I'm sorry, there's like a sand on my face. I'm like covered in sand. I probably look like a hot mess. Anyway, um, yeah, we did snorkeling, which was like 30 to 40 minutes. And we did like a huge lap of the beach. We saw some fish and some conch. And we saw a sponge, a sea cucumber, and like a whole bunch of cool things. Um, and then we came up and we had our tacos, which were delicious, our margaritas. And yeah, now we're going to go finish out the rest of the tour, which I believe we're going to go um, to the lighthouse next. So we're in um, Echo Park in Cozumel. And um, yeah, we're doing, we're doing really good. This is a really good experience. I'm glad we booked this one. And I'm still a little bit wet, so I'm hopefully gonna dry off in the next 10 minutes. We leave in about 10 minutes, and then we're gonna head off to the lighthouse. So um, yeah, it's about 1.40 now. Um, so we've been here for about two hours, which is a really good amount of time. Um, I'm starting to think like, okay, yeah, time to go. So yeah, we'll be doing the lighthouse, and then we're gonna be heading back to the ship. Hey friends, so we haven't caught up with you in a while since we got back from our excursion today in Cozumel. Uh, we had a really nice time. This one, however, is very, very sunburned. I'm showing you sunburn. Here we go. You can see him. Is 
is quite quite bad if you can see that Whew. he is not feeling very good everybody it's not good it's not good it's not not a good shade of red. <laughs> it's not a good shade of red. It's purple. Look, like that's too. That's not. That's not a healthy. That's not a. <laughs> oh that's no, not honey. Red. honey. That's a, like you have to go to the doctor kind of there. Do you want to go to first aid actually? Um. Okay, vlog. <laughs> this took a turn that I wasn't expecting. Um. We'll be back momentarily. Okay, friends, so update. We went down to the infirmary and they were closed. Um, Thomas's sunburn is a little concerning for me. I know that sunburn, people are like, well, it's a sunburn. We're less than 12 hours and he's already blistered and it's pretty bad. I know there's not a lot they can do. We do have some painkillers. We have some nausea tablets in him. He's been drinking water non-stop all day and is still drinking water and we have some liquid IVs so we're going to put that in him as well. Um, I know there's not a lot we can do but I'm very nervous that he's not going to feel well for the rest of the holiday. So he's just getting in another cold shower and I'm going to slather him in some after sun. I'm very glad that we brought some. Um, he's worried that he's going to make dinner unbearable for me, which is so not the case. Um, and he doesn't want to miss out um, on Enchanted Garden either because our second night when we would be in Enchanted Garden we're actually going to be at Paolo but I'm more concerned that he may not be able to do the rest of the vacation or not be able to enjoy it so I think Grand Cayman is going to be a pass for us um, there's plenty of things for me to do on the ship but I do think I'm going to maybe confine Thomas to the room a little bit. Um, I don't, it's not that I can't be in the room with him too. I, I, I can be in the room with him as well. Um, I just really want him to rest up and feel better and it's probably going to be with no shirt on. So um, we'll probably just chill in the room tomorrow um, and just really, really, really rest him up. Um, so basically what happened, a little backstory, um, I don't know if we've already said this, so we put on sunscreen before we left the boat this morning. We even brought more sunscreen with us to the park and snorkel. However, when we got to the snorkel, our guide told us we weren't allowed to put any on because of the conservation thing, because of the water and the chemicals, which like, okay. Um, and like I said, we had put some on. However, Thomas had only put them on in certain areas. And also, the whole bus ride there was really hot and really sweaty. So like where his backpack straps were, it had rubbed off. And you can tell it is exactly where his backpack was. And his lower back um, would was like really sweaty. So he would have uh, rubbed that all off. And then when we have our life vest on, the life vest was only in certain areas. So not all of his back is completely red, but where it is in between his trunks and that, it is definitely red. And I, I imagine because we were, you know, face down, the sun straight down on us, it just made it a magnifying glass. I, um, I have a little bit of redness like where the bottom of my bathing suit was and on the little bit of my straps but I am in no way feeling it the way that Thomas is feeling it. And I really want him to feel better. So, um, yeah, this is kind of a, kind of a weird way to, um, close out this vlog, but I will definitely keep you guys updated on Thomas and we'll let you know how we go. Um, unfortunately this does happen on vacations, but we're going to make the best of it. And, um, yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, bye friends.